Hello, this is Kevin from kboss2hm.co.uk. So tonight we'll be restoring a website from backup from MySQL. It is a Drupal 8 website. I've already created just a temporary one just so we can see. So we're restoring the Drupal 8 website and database with cPanel and FileZilla manually. So this is really useful to learn. You know, you should be backing your website up if you're writing a lot. You know, if say you're posting three times a week, I'd be backing my website up at least once a week. And in the other video, I showed you how to quickly back it up with cPanel. So, as you can see, website's working at the moment. Uh, it's just a website I've just quickly went in and created with... Uh, bootstrap boot business bootstrap should I say so let's as you can see it's working here so the end result is that we're going to come back and this website should work once we've restored it so first of all let's head over to cPanel and let's just go through what you should have done already before we get to restoring everything. So you should have been into MySQL databases. You need to write these down, the, you know, your, your database and the user, the privileged user. You should write these down because you're going to need them again. And saves haven't uh, retyped them out as well. So basically, just write them down, write that down, and let's go back. So you've got them, you've got your MySQL, you've backed that up and everything. And now, let's, I'll quickly go to the backup. There we go. And I go, there's my database, which I'll, this is what you would have downloaded, and you would have had a home directory, and you would have backed that up. Or you might have, may well have done a full site backup. So first of all, let's absolutely wreck the site. <laughs> we, you don't get to do this much live. So I'm going to simply go to MySQL databases, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to delete these. I've already backed them up, which I'll show you. Here. So you can see I've downloaded the database. And I've got a backup of that. And then I've got a backup of the website, which I've got there. So let's jump back here. So now I'm going to simply delete this because he's already run down. We'll just wait for the server to catch up there. Now if we jump over to the site, this is going to... Well, you'll see what happens. <laughs> it's going to die, and there you go, we've got an error. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's because we've got no database anymore. So now, let's just check everything out. So let's delete the user as well. Go to File Manager. Right, so now I've already backed this up. Now I'm going to get rid of it because this is where everything will be going very shortly. So this is public HTML. So let's delete them. Some that can't be deleted, but I'll show you how to do them shortly. Well, they usually yes, this is new. Usually the uh, the config file is protected. But I'll refresh and just check that's not on this theme. So let's just go reload. Oh, and there's the sites. There we go. It's very irritating, but you have to change the positions. Just Add them all. So 
remove this one. This one's the same. It's a sewing actually take them off the server and then we're simply gonna delete them and delete delete And we'll delete that as well. Let's go up one level. There's default. Let's change the permissions on this one finally. And we're going to delete that one as well. And then we're simply going to reload and there you go. We're ready to restore our website that I previously backed up. So, let's close that one down because that one's absolutely fine. Next, let's go over the backups and I'll quickly show you. So, I took a full backup. This one moment was, let's have a check, one of them is... Yeah, this is the full site backup. So let's just I'll quickly show you. And there we go. What I simply did was this is a full directory backup. Drag that to here. So I've got public HTML so I can restore it. And I did exactly the same with the bootstrap. So without further ado, let's start restoring this. So you're going to need your FileZilla. I have done a video as well on how to use FileZilla, how to set FTP up. If you have a look through me videos, you'll see it there. So... As for connections, let's connect up. Okay. Dot sites are still there. Oh dear. Okay, so there was still a file. I missed the file. So what I'm going to do first, just jump back here. This is what happens if you are, if you leave one file and the folder doesn't delete properly. one of, I'd say, the more irritating parts of Jupyter when they lock these up. So change permissions, group, right, right, change permissions. Let's finally delete this for good. Um, let's just double check. Definitely gone this time, no doubt. So let's head back over here. Let's refresh this. And that's gone now. So all we're doing here is we're going to take restore. Jump in here, we don't want the well known because then we'll get a directory at the beginning. And we're going to simply go all the way down. Let's just check that everything's there. Yep. Drag these. Back into the home directory and there we go, we're off. Well, 
And we're just going to wait a second because it usually comes up and as usually it's got to rewrite a file. This isn't with all Jupyter 8 websites, but there's quite a bit and you'll, you'll see it come up shortly. But now I'm going to... Well, actually, before I go off, I'll just quickly show... There you go. It's definitely gone all together now. Um, which is great because it's a great place to pause everything. And I'll see you for the rest of the video very shortly. And not quite complete yet, but I'm just quickly going to show you. Like I said, that file will probably come up and it is simply overwrite. Always use this action. OK. And now you can go get a coffee <laughs> once this is set up um, with your website. I'm going to pause the video again because it's, it's quite a while now. And then I'll come back once this is all uploaded. Hello again. So we're nearing the end of all the files uploading. As you can see, there's 175 left. So let's go and get this database up first of all, which we've already backed up. So let's go to MySQL databases. Let's create a database. And the old one was called Bootstrap. It wasn't in capitals, no. So we will create that database. We'll go back. And the user was right there. Was boot. And I'll put the password in. Create the user. We'll go back. Then we want to add the user to the database with the per correct permission. So there we go. And we'll make the changes. Now let's duplicate that. Take that off there. Let's just see if it'll jump or something. There we go. Back to the front again. So now we're going to have to bring that database in. So let's jump into the PHP my admin. And there it is, send based bootstrap. And now we have to import. And we're going to desktop which we're on. There it is, let's get this. And let's set that to go. Well, let's just go back to the effect. So, this usually happens. <laughs> Um, you got a few files that didn't go up, so let's take all of them, reset them, and requeue, and simply process queue. 
There we go. So that's all the files back. So now all we have is to deal with is the database, which is loading. Let's see if we get anything from the website yet. Still got an error because I can't connect to the database. So we're waiting for the database to catch up here. Um, what I'll do, because this is taking a little bit of a while, you get a little mark down here that tells you how quickly it's usually going up. But the servers take a little bit longer than usual, so I'm going to just simply pause the video. So this is now the SQL database, and it's jumped in now. That took a little longer than usual, but not to worry doesn't mean things have gone wrong, it just means it took a little longer. So let's now jump back over to send base. Let's reload it. Wait there, and there we go. Restoring, so we're back to here again. So this video is to show you to ha how to fully back your Drupal website up and actually restore it from the backup with MySQL. If you have any problems, do leave a comment. But for now, it's thanks for watching and see you soon.